everybody, this is Hobble Dragon playing Undertale. Uh, we went north from that little three-way, and that rock has a mustache on it. Um, let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't going to make me be a human again, are you? To be young again, the world sure felt boundless. This is a family of rocks. Rocks, kid rocks, <laughs> kid rock. <laughs> okay, so there wasn't really anything up there other than wanting to hear Knox and um, kid rocks playing monsters and humans, a little bit like cowboys and Indians, and um, actually it's a lot like cowboys and Indians when you think about it. That's kind of depressing though, and. Uh, a Mr. Rock. Okay, I'm in a cavern now. Oh my god, Zubats! No Zubats! Hey, it's that kid. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Who's her? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell me my parents. Don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> I just realized he doesn't have any arms. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna tell your parents, cause... Do your parents have arms? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. with two jobs before. Unfortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Guild Grilby's. You wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Grilby's is that one. I know a shortcut. But Grilby's is the other one. Fast shortcut, huh? Yep. Hey. Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Oops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groby, we'll have a double order of Berg. So, what do you think? I'm my brother. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool, too, if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Oh! Papyrus, I'm pretty sure you could take that off. Here, 
here comes the grub. Need some ketchup. Bon appetit. Tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. I kind of saw that coming. Oops. Forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. You just grab some butt. Butt bone? Cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Wait. Wait, Undyne? The loud, rude fish lady? A skeleton will go tell a fish lady. Okay. So she's head of the f fish guard. Uh, royal guard. She's head of the royal guard. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him her drink. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, that's a stupid sunflower. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about you? What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. It's that flowy, it's that stupid flower from the beginning. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. I didn't do crap. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just tit. Oh, uh. Oh. I don't have that much. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Can I eat the burger? What if I want the burger? That your food is probably cold by now. I mean, I didn't want to eat it. So, Flowey is talking to not just me, well, it talked to me. That's just not cool, because Papyrus is sweet as hell. Why the hell would you do that to someone? Especially someone as innocent as Papyrus? Screw you. Strongly dislike this flower. Falling rocks. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use the items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, well, someone was down here talking to it. There's a two 
tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? You got the old tutu. to armor tent of whoa tent defense finally a protective piece of armor Did I write that? armor faded ribbon it's three old tutu if you're cuter monsters won't hit you as hard Hi, Undyne. Oh, that's Undyne? I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Did I fight them? Yes, I did. Of course. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W uh, well... No. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... Mm, I understand. I'll help you any way I can. Oh, I don't like Undyne. Light spears? Hell no! Okay, so... Giant suit of armor. Summons light spears. And... Talks telepathically. Alright, no. Nope, nope. Don't like that. Don't like... Oh, hey kid. Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? Uh, yeah. That... That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. I bet he's got a pretty strong face. But you stay determined. When four bridges, bridge seeds align in the water, they will spout. Sprout. They squeak like dog toys. That's okay. Eat. No, oh, I didn't mean to. There we go. I did not mean to do that. Horsepower. <laughs> all of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Check box. He's admiring his own muscles. Flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex! Ride 
twice as hard. Nice, I won't lose though. Very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Alright. That's cool. Can't read that. Still can't read that. squeak that they give out. to build a bridge with the bridge seats. Yeah, thanks, Papyrus. No, I know why he was asking. He was asking for Undyne. Sad me, Papyrus. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. 
now all we have there are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua? Washua. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. As well as it cleans. Bird. Clean you. It hopes, it hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Tweet, tweet. Friends with a little bird. Come on, sis. Make a wish. and I will see the real star someday. Oh, it's mon Monster Sisters. Look through the telescope. That's, that's pretty. Check the wall! Ah, uh, sees. Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. That wall. Writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of the Humans and the Monsters. I'm telling you, he was telling Undyne. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. That's why the king wants the human soul, so that he can break that barrier. Oh no, not again. No. <laughs> yep, that's what I was worried about. Oh, she hit the kid.
She she hit the little monster kid with no arms. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. He's not in there. There he is. Did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. How do you wash your face? Man, are you unlucky. If you were just standing just a little bit to the left... Don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. You're a cute kid, but I don't want her touching me. I'm perfectly content without her touching me. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. Squeak. It's grown around it. It's stuck to the table. I had no problem. I didn't really want to take it anyway, so it all works out. Hey, Sam. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Why is everything red? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Star? Are you a star? Not really. I'm just a kid. Oh, hey! It's the ice cream man. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. The ancient glyph... The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a, sol of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. that glow. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. You walk into mold. About clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. See, I told you. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. I didn't change my clothes, Papyrus. But thanks for this somewhat concern. Your past conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh.
That's all I got now for this episode. This has been Hobble Dragon playing Undertale. Hope you like it. Like, subscribe, comment, all that loveliness down in the bottom. Start up a conversation, guys.